Hi everyone, it's Cindy and welcome or welcome back to the channel. So SimGurus Joanna and George hosted yesterday's developer live stream, but it was far from live. The content was actually pre-recorded and while this helped to keep the gurus on track with showing off key features, there was no opportunity for answering player questions from chat. So if you still have burning questions not answered here, you'll need to wait until the members of the EA Creator Network receive early access to the game. That being said, the features covered focused on the free base game update, create a sim, gameplay, and build by, which I'll recap for you here. And check out the description below for a link to the official live stream vlog. Also note that the footage shown here is not final and changes could occur. So first up, pre-pack release base game update. The new update should occur next Tuesday before the Horse Ranch pack release, and it will include the following. Three First Nation hairstyles, unfortunately none of which were shown off in the live stream. A new First Nations food, the Three Sisters Chili. The free camera mode will now be available in build mode without the need for mods such as Twisted Mexi's Better Build Buy. New color swatches to some of the older base game doors and floor tiles, along with the new painted ceilings feature available in build mode through the flooring section, and yes, any floor tile in the game can be used on the ceiling, and some new tiles made specifically for use with the ceilings have been included. Next up is Create a Sim. As we know, horses will take up a household slot, and there was no mention of having expanded the household size beyond eight sims or animals. There are 30 real-life horse breeds available, and you can also create your own breed of horse with pre-existing arch types available for body shapes, manes, tails, legs, and so forth. Horses are also completely customizable, like cats and dogs, through the same pet color wheel and using brushes, stamps, and stencils. The team also added new horse-specific stamps for iconic markings, such as blazes, stars, and snips. Additionally, you can accessorize your horse using a variety of leg wraps, hats and flower crowns, blankets and tail bows or flowers. And while we've seen that there are horn accessories, there was no official mention of unicorns in the game, either in the creatism or gameplay features. Horses also sport two outfit types, one for every day and one for riding, and while most of the tack focuses on a western style, English variants do also exist. Like Sims, horses can have up to three traits, including aggressive, brave, defiant, energetic, fearful, free spirit, friendly, independent, intelligent, mellow, and needy. And these traits will not only give your horse a unique personality, but influence the relationships and interactions with Sims and other animals. Foals that are bred through gameplay will also inherit attributes from their parents, and there are a few undisclosed traits only available through breeding. Two new traits for Sims include Rancher, with a focus on caring for livestock and a ranching lifestyle, and Horse Lover, but Sims may also develop a fear of horses if they experience negative horse interactions. Additionally, two new aspirations have been added, including Championship Rider and Expert Nectar Maker. And as you would expect, the clothing assets in the pack focus heavily on Western-style outfits, many of which feature both clean and dirty swatches, which is a great touch. And you can deck out your sims in a variety of chaps, hats, cowboy boots, wild rags, which are similar to bandanas and will layer over top of some outfits with or without clipping, and even work gloves. Male sims can enjoy three new bushy mustaches, and even toddlers can sport chaps and infants' adorable horse onesies. Now, as far as the new world and gameplay, the world of Chestnut Ridge is a combination of several iconic western landscapes, such as the dry prairie lands of Montana found in Riders Glen, the Arizona Grand Canyon-like landscape of Galloping Gulch, and the small western town of New Appaloosa, and if you own Seasons, the gurus say you'll notice a decidedly arid weather pattern. The area of Galloping Gulch is apparently a huge map and features the riding trails along with other activities your sims can participate in, such as rail jumping and barrel racing objects, fishing spots, and a swimmable pond at the base of the waterfall. Big skies and stunning vistas were a central design theme throughout the world creation. In the town of New Appaloosa, you'll find a general store where you can buy supplies, a clothing shop, a riding training ground, and the equestrian center. And of course, we know how much the gurus love their bars, and there are two of them in this world. A nectar bar and a western bar where your sims can dance the new cowpoke line dance. 
and it has been confirmed that the Equestrian Center and General Store are indeed rabbit holes, but Sims can visit and interact with the other buildings. Prairie grass is also prevalent throughout the world. Horses will graze on the grass and Sims can harvest it using a sickle and place it in a horse feeder as fodder. Prairie grass can also be searched for surprise items and a new lot challenge focuses on an overgrowth of prairie grass. And finally, horse manure comes in different qualities and it will influence the effectiveness as a fertilizer. Two new skills come with the pack, which are of course the riding and nectar making skills. Horses also have their own set of skills, such as endurance, which can be built up through practicing riding. If your sims become competent riders, they can compete in riding competitions, including rail jumping, barrel racing, endurance riding, and western pleasure riding, netting them both plaques to display and simoleons earned. Child sims can also learn to ride, and horses will lie down to allow children to mount. The two new social events include the Ranch Gathering, where you show off your home, host a neighborhood grill, and generally socialize with the neighbors, and a Ranch Animal Day, where you invite their neighbors over to show off your adorable animals. And speaking of food, there are three new First Nations foods, including Bison Stew, Three Sisters Chili, Wild Nut Soup, and a traditional cowboy dish called Panda Compo. And if you need help around the ranch, you can hire a new ranch hand NPC who will not only care for livestock, but also garden and make repairs. The ranch hand can be hired through the community board, but also through the phone or computer like any other service. The community board will also allow you to enter into competitions, buy or adopt horses, and tell you about the default NPCs. Along with horses, mini goats and mini sheep can also be purchased through the community board, general store, phone, or computer and there's a wide variety of colors and patterns from which to choose. While they're basically an object and will initially be placed in your Sims inventory, once placed in the world, they will roam freely and are not tied to a specific enclosure. There also doesn't appear to be any limit on how many goats and sheep you can own, so you can be sure my self-Sim will be that crazy goat lady of Chestnut Ridge. Many goats and sheep will require feeding and cleaning and can be socialized with, and if you own cottage living, they'll produce milk and wool which you can use in cooking and crafting. They will also help out in the garden by eating weeds and bugs similar to the bunnies and birds from cottage living, and Sims having trouble falling asleep can count sheep to doze off a little faster. As Sims develop their nectar making skill, they'll unlock new recipes which use a variety of gardening crops or even trash. Each type of occult sim will also unlock a special nectar related to their occult type. Hello, plasma fruit nectar? The new nectar racks are stackable like modular bookcases and work like a storage chest for nectar bottles, visibly filling as more bottles are added. Aging nectar will of course increase its value and open bottles will last several days with multiple servings and effects depending on the crop used. But I ask you, who is going to leave an open bottle of nectar around for that long? Now, as far as pack cross compatibility, which is a big interest of the community and myself included, there really wasn't anything mentioned beyond the few tidbits I've already covered. So if you were hoping for a cats and dog vet career that would translate into a horse vet, that doesn't appear to be the case. Although I'm sure you could set up something to simulate this idea yourself in the game or modders will create a career mod for it. There was also no mention if horses would be limited to just the world of Chestnut Ridge, but I'm presuming they function much like cats and dogs in this respect. For any other cross-pack features, we'll just have to wait until early access videos release. And finally, for Build By, as we've seen in the gameplay trailer, players can build their own custom bars and stables, and several new build objects have been included for this purpose, including new medium wall height barn doors that allow Sims to ride through them on horseback. The horse bed object can be placed anywhere and you can assign horses to them just like you would sims to beds, which is a nice touch. A new set of kitchen cabinets and cupboards has many players and builders excited and includes both worn and contemporary swatches. In addition to the new grill, which is called a firebox, there is also a new sleeping bag, also known as a bedroll for nights spent out on the trails, and a rocking chair with a pillow separate from the one in the pre-order items. Finally, there are two new large ranch signs, which are customizable by placing different smaller animal signs, some of which are unlockables onto it, 
and some wall art will also snap to the ranch sign for even more customization options. And that's a recap from yesterday's Not Actually Live live stream. In summary, if you're excited about having courses in your game, then you'll likely want to invest in this pack since they are the central focus. If, however, you're not too fussed about horses, most of the other gameplay features are already included in other packs, such as Cottage Living, Outdoor Retreat, and Eco Lifestyle or Seasons, and in that case, you might want to buy this pack when it goes on sale. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the live stream, and if you found this recap useful, a like is always much appreciated, and consider subscribing if you're not already for more news and build videos. Thank you so much for watching, and have a lovely day.